Hi, hello, this is your lucky sir. 2022 JE Main Chemistry Series we are seeing. This is the third exam. 25th June, shift 1, morning paper. I have just gone through the paper. It's an easy NCRT based paper. Thank you Vedantu for providing this question paper. Thank you sirs. Which of the following is artificial sweetener? Direct answer, Alitem. Okay, this is NCRT, direct bit. Your teachers asked you to remember all this. Okay, now artificial sweetness value, L time is maximum. Which has highest ionic mobility in aqueous solutions? This is barium. Actually, beryllium looks small, but in aqueous solution, because of more hydration, it is very big. Okay, now small normally, but in aqueous solutions, it is very big. Aqueous solution, it is very big because of more hydration. The same question can be asked for first group also. Lithium plus in aqueous solution, large size. So, less mobile. This can be asked in coming examinations series. A guess, okay, a wild guess. IUPAC of ethylidine chloride. Ethylidine chloride is this structure. Here two carbons are there. First carbon is having two chlorine groups. So, 1,1 one, one dichloroethane. Very simple question. Easy question. Entropy change 550. Enthalpy change minus 165. Temperature equilibrium. Delta G is equals to delta H minus T delta S. One very basic formula of thermodynamics. When a question is asked on this, you have to say this is an easy question only but the only difference is only thing you need to concentrate is this is given kilojoules this is even joules so this must be multiplied by thousand so you can see here it is taken as 165300 okay now kilojoules it is so 165 into 1000 joules this is the only thing you need to remember easy question definitely easy question intermediate in reamer team and reaction just to remember your Teacher, that reamer and reaction, phenol when treated with chloroform in the presence of base. Just remember that class, your sir was saying repeatedly, the intermediate is CCL2. Remember this, this is your question, a question. After exam, I both bar I only. Okay, now in your internal exams also so many times this is asked. reamer and reaction, the intermediate is dichlorocarbon. And interestingly, this question is also asked. Hoffman bromamide reaction intermediate. This is not expected actually. Nitrine, not very tough one, but students, if you didn't answer this, we can consider little bit. But carbon, you must answer. Nitrine, because Hoffman bromamide reaction is little typical, not very clear mechanism. In this, you can see there is nitrine. Okay, now, so nitrine is the intermediate in Hoffman bromamide reaction. Now you can remember for a long time. Free radical polymerization takes place in Teflon. Again, memory based polymer question. Not a tough question. He is not asking any particular monomers and all. So, you can say it is memory based easy question only. Which of the following incorrect about Tyndall effect? In Tyndall effect, once you see the NCRT, there are two lines about refractive indices. Refractive indices of dispersed phase and dispersion medium should differ great. There should be great difference. And when it comes to the diameter of the dispersed particles and wavelength, there should not be much difference. Okay. So, this point. Here, diameter of dispersed particles is less than the wavelength of incident light. Not much smaller mentioned here. Here mentioned less than. So, this is definitely incorrect statement. So, when you are answering incorrect, correct, you must be very careful. Fine. See so here, C7, H5. N3O6, one very simple question is asking how many nitrogen atoms are there. See, first of all, C7, H5, N3O6 means 7 carbons are there, 7 into 12. 5 hydrogens are there, 1 into 5. 3 nitrogens are there, 14 into 3. 6 oxygens are there, 6 into 16. So, you are calculating the molar mass. Once after finding the molar mass, you are going with number of moles. Number of moles is 3 moles. So, 3 moles of C7H5N3O6 means 
थ्री थ्री जै नाइन मोल नाइट्रोजन आटम्स नाइन इंटू सिक्स इंटू टेन टू दि पवर आफ ट्वेंटी थ्री दिस इज युर आंसर विच आर द फॉलोइंग स्ट्रांगेस्ट ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट इयर यू सी मैंगनीज प्लस थ्री इज कन्वर्टेड ईजीली इंटू एम एन प्लस टू वेर एम एन प्लस टू इज हाविंग एम एन प्लस टू मीन फोर एस जीरो थ्री डी फाइव This is having five unpaired electrons, so stable. So Mn plus three is easily converted to Mn plus two, so it is undergoing reduction. When it is undergoing reduction, it is strong oxidizing agent. So one question based on D block. Conceptual question. CH three taken thrice Cl, and this is a base. Okay, now very strong base. Whenever strong bases are there, you are going to get a product. Of elimination, this is eliminated product. Elimination product alkene is formed, and whenever strong base is there, definitely it is participating in the rate determining step. So it is going to be E two reaction. Strong bases E two. What is eutrophic eutrophication? Sorry, this is of environmental chemistry, and eutrophication you may study in your schooling also. Otherwise, you need to remember. As I repeatedly say, polymers, environmental chemistry, chemistry in everyday life, and biomolecules. N C R T. Ratta maro. Okay, now line to line, you remember the points in N C R T. So here, loss in biodiversity, it results in loss of oxygen and in subsequent loss of biodiversity known as eutrophication. Phenol reacted with nitric acid, which gives two products. So when you are taking phenol. With nitric acid means either ortho or para. Ortho nitrophenol is formed and para nitrophenol is formed. The ortho nitrophenol is having intramolecular hydrogen bonding. Because of intramolecular hydrogen bonding, it is having lower boiling point. Okay, so they can be separated by steam distillation. This statement is there in NCERT. So organic questions also NCERT statements only. So B third. In the leaching of gold, when sodium cyanide is added, the complex formed is X, which when added with zinc, it forms Y. Again, NCERT statement. Topic is metallurgy. Okay, now metallurgy name will not be there in NCERT. Don't worry. Okay, now isolation of metals. And here, this is when you are taking leaching of gold. Gold means A. Okay, now it is going to form complex with cyanide. Then it is forming the complex with zinc, and second time, gold is coming out in the purest form. This technique is called leaching. So here the equations are mentioned here: AuCN2 minus and ZnCN4 minus two. These equations are there in NCERT NCERT statement questions. Don't leave a single line in NCERT. Electron deficient species are PH3 is not electron deficient; it is having a lone pair of electrons. B two H six because of banana bhana I think you remember very easily B two H six should be there B two H six is here and B two H six is here and then C C L four no it is electron precise ammonia lone pair it is electron rich lithium hydride and B C L three B C L three if you see it is also electron deficient okay now B C L three is electron deficient and B two H six is also electron deficient B C L three B two H six Which of the following are isoelectronic? Very simple question, very basic line. Isoelectronic means the same number of electrons. Same number of electrons you can see. Hydrogen one, fluorine nine. It is two hydrogens are there, and eight. CH four, carbon and hydrogen. So total number of electrons will be ten. Alone sulfur is having sixteen, so it cannot be isoelectronic. O two and O three can never be. H two and F two. So remaining options are also very easy options. So this is you say the easiest question. Easiest, okay. Product formed on reaction of AgCl with ammonia. This is an interesting question. Ag coordination number is two. Okay, now so only two ammonia should be there. So this is out. And Ag charge is Ag plus only. Okay, now so this is also out. So we have here Ag and H3 taken twice. Our computer operator made this same Ag and H3 to Cl. Okay, now Ag and H3 taken twice Cl. 
silver ammonium chloride okay na diamine silver one chloride the ratio of speed of electron in the third orbit of helium to the speed of hydrogen this is hydrogen speed as i told you na speed speed is the problem and the velocity formula is v is equals to v is proportional to z by n directly proportional to z and inversely proportional to n so here both they have same orbit third orbit and third orbit so there is no question about this one so it is depending only on z hydrogen helium helium atomic number is 2 hydrogen atomic number is 1 so the answer is very simple the value of bod and clean polluted water is memory 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 eutrophication is there bod value is there environmental chemistry two questions okay na two questions environmental chemistry clean water polluted water memory what is there in ncert you just check and you need to answer this is the most interesting question easy question you can say this is called cumin when cumin is treated with oxygen forms cumin peroxide it is cumin peroxide when cumin peroxide is treated one is phenol second is acetone in our uh, what is a questions uh, when your teacher is giving some arithmetic conversions and simple conversions this question is a regular question so this is your answer acetone and phenol how many will be strongly bonded when one electron is removed one electron is removed is saying so no bond order is 2.5 no plus one electron after removal 3 so bond order increase means strongly bonded same case o2 bond order 2 o2 plus bond order 2.5 okay na in my earlier video also about bond order i gave you one um, what is shortcut you just go through with that afternoon paper also and here n2 and b2 if you see n2 bond order is 3 n2 plus bond order is 2.5 so this is decreased b2 case also same thing b2 plus b2 bond order will be 1 b2 plus bond order will be 0.5 decreased so this is all about the important memory based questions maybe some questions we are missing but we will try to update all the questions as soon as we get thank you